Hello, welcome to lesson 48, Lambda Expressions in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Lambda Expression. Anonymous methods and Lambda Expressions are very similar. Anonymous methods were introduced in the C-Sharp 2.0 version, but Lambda Expressions were introduced in the C-Sharp 3.0. Keep in mind, both Anonymous methods and Lambda Expressions are very similar. And now we are going to learn about lambda expressions. Before learning lambda expressions, we'll just recall in the previous session what we learned. Now I'll jump into Visual Studio. Here is my Visual Studio and a console template. What I'll do is, I'll just create a delegate first. How to create a delegate? It's very simple. And return type is void and its name is operation. Delegate name is operation. And it is taking a parameter of integer type and the variable name is num okay now I have defined my delegate now what I'll do I'll come to my class program and I'll create a method called static and the class name will be like a double and its parameter is num now since this is a method we have to give curly braces keep in mind if if uh, the methods which are going to be invoked by a delegate uh, the first point sh uh, every uh, developer should remember is uh, the signature of the method should be same as the de signature of the delegate then only delegate can invoke the methods otherwise it will not invoke uh, it will throw a compile time error and now what I have to define and you can observe here the signature of the method is same as the signature of the delegate signature in the sense the return type and the parameter what the delegate is having exactly my method is also having that only here the signature is void and the parameter uh, is integer type num and now what I have to do I have to multiply uh, 2 cross 2 that is, uh, uh, that is 4 how do I do that it's very simple I'll make use of placeholders just to uh, print it properly. Like, uh, 2 equals 1. Uh, just to understand it clearly, I'll just provide a space for each of them. Okay, I'll come here. Then I'll pass that num variable. Then uh, num cross 2, that is, it should go and sit on the second placeholder. Num cross 2. Now, how do I invoke using the delegate? It's very simple. We have to create an object of the delegate first. Operation O equals, I have to uh, invoke the method, that is double, and I have to pass a value to that O. If I pass 2, what it's going to do? Now, when I run this program, you can observe it's going to print 2 cross 2 is equal to 4x, absolutely. But in the last session, we learned to make use of uh, anonymous methods. In case of anonymous methods, no need of passing the method here. Instead of that, we have to take a delegate keyword, then exact the parameter what the delegate is taking, then the curly braces. Now here I have to write my logic. So I'll cut this logic and I paste it here. Now uh, now you can observe I don't need this method. I'll get rid of this. Now this is how this is how anonymous methods reduce the work of delegate. And now what we this is uh, now when I run this program. It obviously should execute and provides 2 cross 2 on the console screen. And this is what in the previous session we learned how to create anonymous methods. Right now, we'll jump in, jump back into presentation and here we'll observe this equal to and lesser than symbol is a lambda operator and this symbol is read as goes to. Keep in mind, this symbol is read as goes to. And notice that when we use a lambda expressions, lambda expression you don't have to use a delegate keyword explicitly and don't have to specify the input parameter type explicitly it means that uh, we learned in the presentation that anonymous methods and uh, lambda expressions are very similar yes why they were introduced in the different versions because delegate was uh, whatever the work done by the delegate was very complicated to reduce the working nature of the delegate C sharp or uh, Microsoft gave us two important features they are anonymous methods and the other one is lambda expression In the previous session we learned how to reduce the workload of a delegate using an anonymous method but now but now you can observe here still some part of code is repeating like the delegate keyword and we have to pass what type the variable it is but uh, how to reduce these things and make it very simple at that uh, so Microsoft gave us in the C sharp 
3.0 feature a special feature called lambda expressions and using this uh, symbol that is goes to how do i reduce uh, the workload of the delegate uh, it's very simple if you want to reduce the workload using the lambda expressions we have two important things to keep in mind one we should get reduce rid of this delegate keyword explicitly and you don't have to specify the input parameter it means here if i remove this delegate keyword it's not going to cause me any problem and also there is no necessity of explicitly telling what what type this num variable it is okay if i do that uh, my half of the workload of this delegate is reduced. So how do I do that? It's very simple. First, I'll remove this delegate keyword. Okay. Now, as the slide will come here, we can observe. Notice that with a lambda expression, you don't have to use a delegate keyword. That's what I just removed the delegate keyword. And the second point is, uh, don't have to specify the input parameter type explicitly. It means this is the input parameter you can observe, and there is no necessity of explicitly specifying the type of it. So I'll just remove this also and I'll remove this also then it's still throwing an error telling that num does not exist in the current context now how do I solve this it's solved using this operator we have to use this operator telling that uh, it's a lambda expression so what I'll do I'll just come here and I'll pass this lambda expression operator goes to and you can observe there are no no more red squiggly on my screen now when I build this project it builds successfully and when I run the project run the program it's printing 2 cross 2 now we can observe in the last two sessions what we learned like anonymous method and the lambda expressions both were introduced in the C sharp to reduce the workload of a delegate and that's what we did here instead of uh, explicitly telling the delegate keyword and uh, expli explicitly specifying the parameter return type we just removed this and we make use of, we made use of this lambda operator this is what about the lambda expressions and we'll jump back into presentations lambda expressions are more convenient to use than anonymous, anonymous method as obviously but uh, in the previous session we saw how anonymous methods came into existence how, how it caused the reduce the workload of a delegate similarly now lambda expressions also reduce the workload of a delegate as well as the anonymous methods now this is very important to keep in mind uh, lambda expressions reduce the work of uh, delegate uh, and it's also more efficient than anom anonymous methods and that is the meaning of this last but one sentence and lambda expressions are particularly helpful for writing link queue query expressions keep in mind lambda expressions are more helpful when we use the link queue uh, to understand link you will we'll wait for the coming sessions and there we'll see how lambda expressions are helpful in writing the link you query expressions this is what about lambda expressions thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below